Brute Protocol Star Residence has officially been released in the Chinese servers. If you want to play it right now, you can download it from the Wii Game website. You don't need a VPN to play, but it will really help. However, you need both a WeChat account as well as a passport. It does not need to be a Chinese passport. You can use your regular foreign passport. If you're looking for a VPN, I'm personally affiliated with Exit Lag to get you 50% off the yearly plan. As well as here's a free 7-day trial key for whoever come and get it first. Just replace the underscore with a specific number. But I'll be showing you how to get the official Chinese VPN as well, which unfortunately is pay only. As of the thinking of this video, the Chinese server is in an absolute terrible state right now. Combined with high ping, your experience is going to be very, very bad. So before we get started, if you're not looking to try out the game right now, I'll highly recommend you to just wait for the global release that's going to be coming later this year, with closed beta rumored to be at the end of July anyway. Now, if you don't understand Chinese, you can try it like an on-screen real-time translator. I'm personally Chinese, so I don't need a translator, so I have never really tried it and I can't really speak to it. But I know some people have good results with this like Gamma Knight real-time screen translator. Again, unfortunately, it is pay only, but I heard good things about it. For the most part, I would say you don't really need a translator to play the game though. I'll be uploading Star Residence content as well as streaming on Twitch regularly so you can ask me questions in the comment or on my Twitch, on my live stream. But if you want to try the game right now, you can get started by downloading the Wii Game Client on the Wii Game webpage. Here, you can get to the Star Residence webpage and then hit the big green, or sorry, orange download button. And then you can click the download client and this will download the Wii Game Client. Go ahead and install the Wii Game Launchers and then you will launch into Wii Game. Hit finish install and this will bring up the Wii game launcher. Now you'll notice there's two login methods. There's going to be the QQ login method and the WeChat login method. It is almost impossible to make a QQ account. So we're going to use the WeChat login method. And this is where your phone is going to come in. Now there are tutorial online by other YouTubers on how to create a WeChat account. However, you do not need a Chinese phone number. You can use your American or your foreigner phone number. When you eventually hit the sign up page, make sure you select United States or Canada or whatever on your phone number and you can put in your own phone number. The problem, however, is going to come into the QR code verification. When you finish signing up for WeChat, you're going to be met with this caption verification and then the QR code verification. In order to successfully create a WeChat account, you need an other users with a WeChat account to complete your registration. If you don't have a friend, however, you can find online service that will scan your WeChat QR code for a price and you can see there are some service on Fiverr. However, highly recommend you finish watching the rest of the video because there is a bigger verification step before you decide to spend the money. I have also created a Brew Protocol Star Residence category in my Discord server for people to help verify each other. So hopefully that might help a little bit in case you don't want to pay. When you have successfully created your WeChat account on your phone, you can hit the scan button at the top right and then you'll scan the QR code on the screen. This is how you're going to log into Wii Games and then you click allow. So from here on, you're going to be able to download Blue Protocol Star Residence on the Chinese server and start playing it. So in the Wii game client, you want to head to shop, which is the first button, and then you want to look for Star Residence. Now, at the time, it's the official banner right here. However, if you can't find it, you can simply search uh, Star Residence right at the top here, and then you can get to this page and you click download. The download and the play button is going to be this big orange button at the bottom, right? However, make sure you check all these like term and condition by clicking the checkbox before you click the orange button. And this will launch you into the game or download the game if you don't have it downloaded. It might ask you to log in again when you do launch. Once again, just pull up your phone, scan the WeChat QR code and then log in that way. And then again, this is how you're going to be logged in all the time and you'll be able to launch into Brew Protocol Star Resonance. Alright, so this will get you into the game. You click the blue launch button and there you go. Now, if you're getting an error when you're trying to connect to the server, that is because the server is shitting itself right now. 
this is where VPN booster like exit lag or this new Chinese booster that I'll be showing you a bit come in. Whenever I experience like disconnect issues and stuff like that, I found it very, very easy to quickly disconnect myself from the VPN and then immediately reconnect to the VPN. It will kick you back to the login page, but then your next connection will be a lot more higher chance to be successfully connected. When I'm making this video, Blue Protocol Star Residence wasn't officially supported by Exit Lag, so we're using this new Chinese booster called UU instead. Now, when you click Start on the UU boosters, you might see this screen, which is the real name verification. This is where your passport is going to come in, and you want to click Verify. It will bring you to this 10 cents real name verification page and you have to do this. I know some of you be like, oh, maybe I'll just play with our VPN then. And again, in this case, maybe you could try exit lag with my affiliate code or here is another free seven day key. But eventually when you do get into the game, you might be met with this health screen check of death. Basically, in China, there is an anti-addiction law that prevents children who are under 18 years old from playing games too long. And you will have to verify that your age is above 18 to continue to keep playing Blue Protocol Star Residence, which is where the real name verification with your password come in, similar to from the UU booster earlier. If you don't want to provide your passport to Tencent, once you have seen the screen, you will no longer be able to play. So that will be it. And that is the reason why I suggest you consider if you really want to play in China before you start buying the WeChat verification service and stuff like that. Because when Gobo is coming out so soon, again, with closed beta coming in the end of July rumors, uh, you might want to just play Gobo instead. If you choose to continue to play the Chinese version, head over to the Tencent Health Check Real Name Verification page and start doing the verification there. In order to do the Real Name Health Check Verification, you want to go on the Tencent Verification page and once again hit WeChat Login and log in using the same WeChat you have always created. And here you're going to click Scan. You can get to this page and you're going to have to input your ID to verify that you're over 18, which is the only way to play the game. It's going to ask you for a ID. Now, if you have a Chinese ID or you have a friend with Chinese ID or permanent residence, I highly recommend doing those because the verification is significantly easier. But if you don't have a Chinese friends, you can click the second last bottom button, which is going to be ordered passport. So this is where you're going to put the passport. It is going to get you this QR code right here. Once again, you want to scan this QR code using your phone, using the WeChat account that you have created on your phone. That's going to get you to this page. You want to hit I agree in the checkbox and then hit the big green button to say start. And here you want to I don't know, enter your username, like 1010, and then just hit a random pictures and then start. And here it's going to say you have not verified and please verify. So again, hit the big green button and here it's going to ask you for a ID. Click the first button and you want to scroll all the way down again to the second from the last bottom. Uh, this is going to be foreign passport. And then you're going to put in your name, your ID number. So this will be whatever your ID number is. Your gender, the first one is male, the second one is female, your birthday. It's going to ask you to make sure that the name is exact as your passport and you want to hit the big green button confirm. And from here on, it's going to ask you to take pictures of your passport in the first one. You're going to take a picture of the page with your photos on it. And the second one is going to ask you to hold your passport to the page and take a selfie. The final step is going to be to using your phone to record yourself speaking in Mandarin the following four numbers. So here we have six, five, nine, one. The Mandarin version of this will be Liao, Wu, Jiu, Yi. So you will say Liao. Wu Jiu 
E in a video and you will upload this to the video and they will manually verify this in maybe a week up to maybe even a month. If you want to learn how to speak number in Mandarin right now, here's a quick tutorial for one to nine. E, R, Shan, Si, Wu, Liao, Qi, Ba, Yo, and you want to say those numbers in exact. So again, I have uh two six two six now, which would be Er, Liao, Er, Liao. Once you have successfully verified, and again, they will manually have someone to check this out, you'll be able to play. And that is all the step it will take. That is the final step. You won't be able to swipe on the Chinese server. It'll be very hard for you to swipe on the Chinese servers because you have to use a Chinese payment method, but you'll be able to play. So with that being said, that is going to be it. UU VPN is a pay only service, but you can pay it using your PayPal. You don't need a WeChat account. You don't need Alipay. And once you have activated your UU VPN, you want to again hit star residence and you want to hit this boost button. And this will automatically boost you into the VPN and you'll be able to play a little more smoothly. This is going to be the official's uh, Wii game VPN. And you can see that it is reducing my ping by 65. It is going from 200 something all the way down to 150. Now, if you want to be a little safer, what you can do is click this change button to manually change it to a Chinese servers. So right here, it is actually connecting me to a North America servers. And you can actually change this to uh, a Chinese servers. So here, for example, uh, what I'd like to do is I'd like to type in Shanghai uh, and I can connect to uh, Shanghai telecoms for a more stable Chinese servers. If you're having connection issues and stuff like that, this is one of the things I would try first. Um, if you don't know how to type Chinese, simply click this filter button at the top right and then hit to the second one. And the first one say all and you want to scroll down all the way to pretty much just um, any of these is fine. The top like 20 years are like um, North America, Japan and stuff like that. And all the bottom ones are in-house China. You got like um, Chinese Telecom, Beijing Telecom, Chinese Telecom. So you can just click any one of them. Uh, personally, I just use Shanghai because it's on the east coast of China. So it's a little closer to where I'm living. If this video helped you out, consider subscribing to the channel for more Root Protocol Star Residence video or more Mandarin and stuff like that. And also have a VTuber channel where I upload other things. So thanks for watching. Subscribe. Bye bye.